Well, biodiversity has different definitions, but normally we say it's something which goes from the genes to the species, to the ecosystems. Okay. And at the moment, I think it's high on the agenda because we have lots of interactions with biodiversity, which people notice, like for example, the pandemic. Current pandemic is one of many epidemics or pandemics we had in human history or global history, in Earth's history. If you destroy nature, you will create conditions which are better for certain viruses to, let's say, develop in certain groups of species, dominant species. So if you destroy a system, you lead to a kind of, let's say, dominance of certain species, which are kind of dense to each other, and then this virus can evolve. And eventually, if there's contact with humans, it can also spill over to humans, and that's what they call zoonosis. We have the level of the governments, the international community, where there was a lot of activities in terms of this uh, so-called integrated uh, intergovernmental platform biodiversity and ecosystem services, which is something like the IPCC for biodiversity. Individuals can, for example, work in their, let's say, own surroundings, improve conditions for biodiversity, for insects. You can also, let's say, avoid planting uh, foreign plants in your garden, for example. Try to avoid consuming not non-sustainable products. There are many facets, and even if you do only one of them, it's better than doing nothing.